Ah, uh, Ruthless dropped out. Ah, okay. Right. Alrighty, so live on air. Welcome to Gal 3 Competitive Oz NZ. Uh, I'm Mike Star. Here with me is Bear. Look, it's Bear. How's it going? Hello. Bear? Greetings, community. It's good to be back. I haven't done this for a while, so... Yeah, definitely. It's nice. This is going to be a long one. 11, best of 11, so there is potential to go all night long. Unfortunately for me, but that's yeah, me too. Don't don't worry about that one. But our uh, best yeah. of eleven, starting from zero zero, we have the teams of Paranoia taking on Downpour. For Paranoia, we have V Deadline, Freeze, uh, known as Chronic Stunner. Yeah, also known as Chronic Stunner. Bev. L Bev L and O Hayden, and for Downpour, we have Doctor Shovelhead. Milky, Squeaks, and Deadite. So it's basically, I mean, for anyone that doesn't know these teams, I actually didn't know who they were, who Mike still was talking about, but this is pretty much um, Call Me Tonight, led by Chronic, uh, versus Revenant from, or well, Team Viras, or whatever they called, from CGI last season. Yeah, exactly. So teams have changed, but these teams do have a bit of experience. Um, I think we're ready to start when you are, Bear. All right. So let's get this first map execution clock tower first map in the best of eleven series up the way. Damn, I should have gone and get something to eat, I think, before this, but it's all good. Yeah, I have food right in front of me, but I can't eat it. <laughs> Alright, um uh, this is actually pretty interesting. I didn't know the team lineups because I didn't know the team names. I uh, wasn't familiar with them, so it'll be it be a pretty interesting match. Yeah, definitely Obviously, a uh, of a surprise for you, but <laughs> Yeah, obviously, um, the team at the, on the Locust, uh, what are they called again? Uh, Downpour. Downpour. Uh, they're fighting to get themselves back in CGI Season oh, 2, I guess it is. Or it is Season 3. Season but. 3. I think everyone sticks with Season 3. I'll well, jump off with... I think they're going to be doing a 2-2 two -two off the bat. Uh, they are too. Locust sending 2 up top, Cog sending 1 uh, up top. Yeah. Oh, the Locusts have not actually tried to do anything with the boom. They, they seem fairly reserved. But Shovelhead taking someone out with a sniper, I think. Yeah, um, uh, Locust sure. member gets down next to Statue, and he's going to get picked off by Bev with that boom shot. Deadline's going to have to go back into that spawn with Bev. He Bev does have that boom shot. As I mentioned earlier, we have Freeze just sitting on the car. Uh, two members of the COG just sitting in that spawn pistol area. For the Locust team, otherwise known as Downpour, we have two up top and one sitting on that statue. Comments so far, there. Very, very typical start, I suppose, for a team that locks one in and, and doesn't go for the boom. They're just going to, they try and make sure they hold control of the other side, like their spawn side, like the statue in this example. Um, and it basically forces the... Uh, um, Cog team or Paranoia to go out their own spawn and get stuck in there with the boom. The problem here for uh, Thingo, as you're about to see right now, is that Bev and Deadline are rushing up with the boom. Bev's got one, maybe one or two shots left in the boom. He takes out Milky, and that's exactly what happens. It doesn't matter unless you hold that properly. You're just you're not going to get anywhere. And Bev could take out another one here, I think. And he's going to take out two. Yep. That's it. As easy as that. Yeah, well, if you have that boom shot, if you can push it up, as you saw um, with Bev there, he just went up to jail, just stood there for a second, just aimed his shot, so he made sure he didn't kill himself if Milky decided to just run forward. And that's it. He didn't really have to do much. Just needed to know how to aim. Yeah, Bev's, Bev's uh, been a pretty impressive little player. I mean, he's, he's uh, come out of nowhere along with a lot of the other players and he does have competitive experience. He went to Sydney Land, I met him there. And, you know, he knows he knows. We have things. Deadline taking out two players. So to cut you short, Squeaks maybe to get the double, but no, he's going to get taken out again. Hayden um, taking out Squeaks. We have one member of Downpour left alive, but he's going to get picked off now as well in a very quick round. Um, 29 seconds. We had a bit slow at the very start. No one could clean up their shots, but then we just had Deadline picking off a nice double. Hayden getting one, and I'm not too sure who picked off that last kill, but um, just one after each other. Dev, uh, yeah, Bev and Deadline running in there and just doing damage. I mean, like they're all decent players. There's no doubt. Like um, it's really. You know, they can do those kind of things that you see the legacy and that guys do, especially when they're in 
a similar environment for someone of their skill level, I suppose. You know, you might see, like, say, a Supremacy or a Legacy versus one of these teams, and it's just one-sided and, and boring to watch, I suppose. But, I mean, this match looks like it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, definitely. We Not have two line. players down so far for Paranoia. Um, and Downpour haven't even dropped a single player. They've played it smart. they played up top. And yeah, Deadline's going to get yeah. taken out as well. Bev does have that boom shot. Three shots can make it into a 1v1. But he's going to get Lancer down. Oh, yes. And he kills himself, but he manages to take out one player. With that him. is one thing. Going into the boom, I mean, you can go in there and get it. And, and sometimes it's really good, but you it, it all it, it just completely is dependent on the rest of your team not dying. Like, a good team, if they want to play up top, can actually single out other players if they leave them open too long. So I think that's exactly what uh, Downpour just did, or, and they did it really well. Took him out and won the round. Yeah, Boom we're going to be seeing relevant. Swig's going to be taking on two players. He needs to oh, pop off on... Oh, oh, he gets taken out. We got he got yeah, he did. But we're going to see Deadeye getting taken out. No, he's going to take out Freeze, but he's going to get led to Dead as well to get picked off. Uh, but Milky's there to back him up. They yeah. have that boob control, they're going to go for the pickup. Pick up, pick up. They're going to pick up Abbo and then pick up the boob shot, there we go. Deadline's in a horrible spot right now. He's... Yeah, Hayden's there to cover him though, but if he gets boobed, he's just yeah. going to blow up. Oh. No, that boob misses, but he's going to get taken to oh, full down, red. Down, down, down. Uh, Milky gets taken out, but Deadline... Uh, Milky gets taken down, sorry. But Deadline gets taken out, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh no. Oh, he almost went... Oh, good. Yeah, I thought Deadeye actually went down there. That's how oh, he got another like, down. Oh, I missed. Oh, a bad boom by uh, Deadeye, unable to really finish him off, and now he's out of booms. Milky's on his last down. Aiden's actually done phenomenally well here, and if he gets this kill, which I think he might, oh, he it's taken. He's yeah. unlucky, nah, but he did really well there. Made all the difference. So, he definitely deserved something out of that. Like, that was just unfortunate. So all three of you go boom. I'll grab into him. Um, I, I like the way he played that just then. I think, um, what's it called? Uh, who, who was it that was, was that Chronic? Yeah, he was in a shitty position and I don't know how he did that. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Oh, God. He was just standing there in front of the sandbag like he wanted to die. It was just... Hemptus taking a shot, taking out squeaks. Milky's going to get taken down as well. Uh, Shovelhead. Shovelhead has yeah, the big shot, down. but yeah, he's down. He's gonna get taken out. These rounds are just going what a piece. Alright, so they're one round away from taking the first map. It's been quick, frantic, and unexpectedly unexpectedly exciting. So it's it's quite good. I'm enjoying this at the moment. It's good. There's a lot on the line for these guys, you know. One of them's going in CGI, although they might have a bit of a hard time there, but you know, the other one's going home, you know, they're just in CGO, they have to fight for it again, you know. It's a, it's yeah, a big exactly. deal. Bev's going to be taking on Milky, but they're both going to get a double down here. Deadout's going to go right back for the sweep. Hayden just takes out... Uh, Deadout just managed to pick off Bev there, but uh, it's going to get taken out by Hayden to that boom shot. Shovelhead's the last one alive, he has to make something happen, or the map's going to be caught in the favour of... Uh, Hold on. Hold on. Uh, ...which they just did. Well done to Paranoia, they take the first map. 4-2, pretty convincing. It's all on neutral host for those that didn't know. So there yeah, is no hope to be enough yeah. to neutral host this whole best of 11. Yes. It actually, I mean, from that, I mean, if I was, I didn't actually know, it, like, the teams or, you know, I didn't know. Like, you can't really predict something that you don't know. And from there, I mean, they just looked a lot stronger. They looked like they had control. They worked together better and... They really just deserve to run over it. The scoreline was probably a little flattering. You know, I think they they dropped one round when they rushed up top. Teams that rush up top, I mean, don't normally, you know, go anywhere. Uh, it just it's too hard to win, even if you got Ubi. Like, you know, <laughs> it's just you can't. It's just too much. That that boom just does too much damage. So, okay, um, the next map should be Execution Thrashball. What what maps are the um, kings? Uh, Rustlug is the first one. Rustlug. So first. yeah, we'll be playing Execution Thrash Ball and then King of Hill Rustlug. What maps? Uh, you know what numbers? So I can change them. Huh? What? Sorry. Yeah, what number maps are you know the, the King of Hills? You know what I mean? Like oh, every, every two, every two execution is a king. Alright, sweet, too easy. 
Uh, yeah. So what's this one? Thrash ball. Thrash ball. Yep. I actually had a discussion with the uh, almighty Virix the other day about thrash ball and the way that they play it. Um, no, I was playing as and um, <laughs> I'll, I'll give a shout out for uh, Westy's comment in the comments. It's quite nice. I had a good chuckle about that one. Um, I'm not too sure about this map. I mean, it, it seems that the way, I guess, uh, Legacy or Mind Freak, as you might know them, have sort of revolutionised the way you play it downstairs and got the nades, it seems as though there's no other way to play this map anymore, if you know what I mean. Like, yeah, definitely. It's no defensive against they've, them. They've nades. made the map have to play different. Uh, you, have to play, you have to play bottom. If you can't play bottom, it's very hard to yeah. play against a team that does. Because, I mean, you know, if, if they all go bottom and they're so powerful, isn't it? They throw their smokes right. They work together really well. Um, I think Deadline has to change here, does he? Or is he... No, um, he's in the right team. You're thinking of Deadite. Are they, were they in the same team before? Uh, no. Okay, they just decided to copy each other a little. Fair enough. Yeah, Deadite used to be Deadite beforehand. Um, Deadline used to be in Overture, so... Like the uh, they've always had sort of the same name, like that that name. So I don't know, but um, yeah. Um, but anyway, back on topic of the map, it just seems that as though you know they're so good at getting in there and just yeah. You know, well, getting, uh, what I was what I was gonna say is we had I was versus I forgot which table it was, but they were using Cruzy as affiliate. We played Thrash Ball. He got there a good two seconds. Every second, every single round, quicker than I did. Exactly. I just mean for for me now, like it just seems if you go up top, you end up sitting up there forever, and they're just going to pick up two sets of nades, um, and you know a digger and all that shit. And you basically, it's a matter of time. The only way you're going to get out of it is if the team rushing is an idiot, like you know, and really screws up somehow. So. For me, like, obviously now it's been forced, and you can see it right here, they've all gone downstairs, four on four downstairs, no question, they've gone in, got the nades, lost to one person each, but you can't really play defensive on this bottom part, you yeah. just can't, like, you, you can't, like you said, you need to do something, like, as you saw there, Deadeye down somebody, he had to push him, but it wasn't really the best move. Well, I mean, Cruz got there. Like, he gets there so quick, and you've probably got players like Quam and that that all utilise the like sliding of walls to get places faster. I know Lethal pioneered it pretty well as well, like on Old Town. But you know, they'll get in there so quick that your Lancer is irrelevant anyway. You're not going to down them going in there. So basically, all it is is just going to be a clusterfuck in the. Uh, in the eight. Yeah, well, no on that to... point as well, we had a. Uh, just the example that I brought out earlier, we had me and Turbo. I decided to change things up. Me and him both sat at the back of the corridor. We saw Cruzy enter. He just walked out straight past and our Lancers did nothing. It's just techniques that people have figured out, little exploits that they know that you can get around. And now it works. And the simple fact of the matter is this, is that there's no other way to play um, oh wow, well. he just got a nice little shot over the top, sneaky, Bev just didn't pick up on that at all. No communication there, I would only assume. And now the ascendancy goes right in favour of Downpour, I think. Yeah, that's yeah, it. Downpour is called this time. And what have they got? Uh, oh no, it's a 0-1 lead, so Hayden backing up into spawn. He's just going to control the spawn. Yeah, gonna Freeze just... is going to get taken down as well behind that blue goalpost. Nade's going to be going to him. But I think there might have nearly been a team kill there. Someone almost knocked off Shovelhead, the poor fella. Yeah. Uh, but we have another member down at high stands, but Hayden's there to try and pick him up. But no, he's going to get back up. He's going to be taking a full red, though. Not too oh, sure. Still... Get... See, they've just ruined it. Oh, no. And oh, he's he... going to get whacked off, but he still takes him out. Ted Hayden gets the nice double. I'm not too sure how he did it die after that whack, but... Oh. Just pulling it through to get the nice double. Oh my god, back in Gears 2 and Gears 1 like that, the two-piece was just like flagrant. Everyone used it, but just there just shows that they just don't like it anymore. Like, he whacked and just got his head blown off for it. It's just like, get off for it, it. It doesn't work like it used to. Not with the way the game mechanics are. 
So as you see here, um, the are in paranoia. Just you know, they're, they're probably not the most experienced and and uh, you know cohesive team at the moment. They've only been together a short time, I'd only imagine, but they're they're doing well to protect the maids area. And I mean, it, it seems if they. They're pushing nades and still managing. Bev's going to come up here and get a kill in the back, I think. Maybe. We have Squeaks and Bev down at that balcony. Squeaks is going to get back up first. Going to take out Bev. Oh, no. And Tenite's going to get the nice nade on Hayden. We have Freeze going to get taken to full red. He's going to get... Oh, no, he's not going to get taken down. It's full red and that nade's going to be flying into him. Oh. He's going to get taken down. Um, that was very well played by... Uh, Downpour. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Word. But Deadline's going to take out Shovelhead. But he's gonna get taken. Yeah, he's gonna get taken down now. He can't get the one before, unfortunately. Not really sure what's going on here. It, it seems like uh, um, downpour ascending. I'll actually. I'm pretty sure I'll get it right by the end of the thing. <laughs> who I'm talking about. But downpour seem to be going nades heavy, like as quick as they can. You'll see dead eye here. He's about to just rush in the front. Oh, yep. He's throwing a smoke. Don't know where that was going, but. He's just easily going to get in here. They've already got a guy in there, though. I think so there's I a locust member already in there. Well, it's good. Uh, it's good to see that paranoia. Are up, uh, um, Two locust members actually in that nade area. One on the L, and then one up top. Well, oh, we have Dead Eye getting taken out straight away by Hayden. Very well played. He's just going to pop out and you know get him. He's going to be pushing Shovelhead. He's going to get the nice shot of Shovelhead as well. And we still have Ben and Squeaks going to be contesting up top. Squeaks, is gonna... why did you jump over Squeaks? He got taken to full red, but now his health has regen. He's gonna be pushing Bev, not too sure. Why does he keep jumping over? Covers, I'm not too sure. I think he's lagging a bit, but uh. Oh, that was good effort right there. Uh, Hayden really setting that up. He just took on the game right there. Maybe a few um, mistakes here and there, but. Uh, yeah, definitely, these rounds still are very close, um, as we saw in the first map. By the stage, he gets the 2 2. Uh, it's round by round that the team just manages to pull through, is what we saw in Clock Tower. So, hopefully, we can see that again for uh, one of these teams. We have Squeaks oh. pushing and taking out Deadline, picking up his teammate. We have, I think that's Shovelhead uh, getting taken down as well. And Milky's going to get taken down. We have Squeaks taking on Freeze. Oh, he's got him there. Yeah, good Lance. Oh, but he's going to get Lance in the back. He's going to get taken down. I can hear him in the game chat. He's just raging. He's saying he's teleporting. Uh, who is Squeaks? Yeah, Squeaks. Uh, he's screaming his head off, saying he needs a new host or he is not playing. I don't know, no one else seems to be complaining, so I'm not too sure if it's just him or not. Yeah, just uh, go check that after that, but it's funny though, because apparently I've heard he's got the high-pitched voice going on. Yeah, that, that's that's happening right now. Okay. Doing that squeaks, bro. But yeah, we have oh. Milky getting taken down as well. Freeze going to go to push him, but Deadite's going to take him out. Uh, uh, I think I saw an LFC for um, squeaks the other day, and there was a lot of hate towards the poor fella. Yeah, um, um, I'm not too sure about that, I don't pay attention like, to the yeah, hate. Actually, but yeah, that nade unfortunately missing by Deadeye, he still has one nade left, he's just going to hold on to it for now. We have Hayden, oh that nade's going to be getting chucked in, it's not going to take him out unfortunately, but he gets taken to full red. We're going to see Milky going to try to sneak up, but Deadline's going to take him out, but he's going to get taken down in the process. We have Hayden going to be taking on Squeaks with the meat shield. He's going to get taken down as well, and then we have Bev, last one alive for his team, they to take on three members, going to be running into low blue stands, but he's going to get taken down as well. Good, nice little cross lance so right there by those two, to, um, good old squeaks fighting off the uh, teleportation to manage to hit his shots with those pistols and the meat shield, and uh, yeah, they're doing quite well here. They've pulled it back to 3-3. They have a chance to take the second map and, and even the ledger at 1-1. You would hope for their sake that they can because to, to go down 2-0 with the, uh, the King of the Hill coming up, especially with the fact that I would say at this point of time that at Paranoia to seem a little bit better organised. Uh, Saying that though, um, 
Uh, Downpour are a stronger King of the Hill team, I would, I'm pretty sure. I would not know, so that was very insightful, Mikester. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, I think my request, my own request, I'm going to hope that we can do a listen in to Downpour on the King. I want to hear a bit of squeaks. Yeah, that's fine. We have Deadline taking out squeaks and Milky taking out Deadline. Three on three situation. We have one player of each team on those L's. Two in the nades for the COG team with one at the end of the nade corridor for the Locust team and one on the balcony for the Locust team as well. He's going to be taking a full red as well, but he's going to manage to get out of there. Milky takes out Hayden um, with a nice assist from Deadite. And then we have Freeze getting taken down as well. This round seems to be in the favor of yeah. the um, They look like they are going to, short of a miracle, um, they are going to take this next map. And we're even it up at 1 1. Despite having squeaks teleporting, they managed to pull out with the win. On Vashbol, a very close encounter right there, a little bit closer than the last map. And it'll be good to see how these two guys go on the king. Yeah, Might definitely. Set the tone for the whole match right here. I mean, in the game. dominating performance. You say Downpour are a better King of the Hill team. So That's my opinion, anyway. Um, uh, every time I versed them in King of the Hill, they seem to be a lot stronger. Um, they just seem to get their setups more down packed than their execution. Not saying that they're a bad execution team, it's just that they seem like they know what they're doing more in King of the Hill. Alright, so Teleport and Squeaks get six kills, just behind Deadlight with eight, and um, Dr. Shovelhead, I think he was a bit. Oh, you know, he got 700 points for one kill, so he, he did a lot of work there. He definitely did more work than the scoreboard would suggest. Um, Hayden, Deadline, pretty even even uh, performance there by Paranoia, which is good to see, because you do not really want to have an anchor. It really helps if your team's all on song. So. Sorry for going slightly, I'm just listening to the game chat. Alright, so we're gonna, I think we're just going to go to a listen in for the whole map. Yeah, it is a best of 11, so we'll have plenty of opportunity. Yeah, listen. if you want, I can go for a listen in for the whole map. doesn't bother me. Oh, I think everyone wants to hear Squeaks. I mean, it's something that you can go back and watch. Hey, listen to what Squeaks was saying. Definitely. Um, yeah, start it up. <laughs> King of the Hill wrestling. Yeah. Uh, Quam types. I think Quam was going off in one of the uh, King of the Hills um, against Legacy. So that was good. Everyone was having a good laugh about that. So hopefully Quam's out there in the audience. I wouldn't be surprised if he isn't. I mean... He doesn't mind a bit of spectating, old Quam. Oakley, Oakley, you go on. Um, Do you have a team they go on? Just uh, rust along. Yeah, it seems like he might have gotten over his lag problems, but I'm sure they'll resurface in this in-game chat. Well, he was saying in the chat if anyone else was lagging, so. Uh, which team are they going to go on? I think it's their choice. Um, chose the first I don't know. They've got no idea, I don't think. I think they're just deciding who actually gets the choice of. So they're just saying Dadpaw's choice. Maybe they don't want me host. I don't know. Maybe. Can, oh, they figured it out. Good on them. All right, swap teams. Yeah, bank teams. JG boys. You go, swap you go, team. Oh. There you go. You're going a long way towards CGI. You're going to need to change teams. Good work. Alrighty, I'll mute my mic and I'll be back after the closing of this map. So enjoy squeaks, everybody. It'll just it'll be a lovely listen. I'm actually gonna listen into it too. Yeah, remember to um start the map though. Yeah, I'll try to <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Alright, bye now. Smack you out. <laughs> yeah, good luck, boys. <laughs> Especially when it's Black Ops. Black, yeah. Black Ops. Black Ops is serious business. Black. I'm ashamed. Bladder is active. I said, men, they're not the only ones that have no men. Faggots. What's our XQ? Yeah, I think we totally have an XQ. Um, where am I going? <laughs> Shut up. Where am I going? Shut up. 
Do and shovel yeah. go to the side. Yeah, yeah. I'll grab I'll it. I'll get it, man. Oh, no, you can't. Uh, and you have to get the cuties and things. <laughs> oh, it's so like a well. Buttercup. Buttercup. Actually, it's not. That's not good. Yeah. Alright, let's do it, man. We're getting in there. Behind you, behind you, guys. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I can't do something. I know. 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 Yes. Yes. Oh, no. I dropped my ass. Don't, 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 don't go for it. You guys can't. Get up, he's coming for me. Yeah. Oh, there's one in the rock I'm not there. Oh, I'm coming from the left. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I thought you were going. Yeah. Uh, shovel, you and me say. Go to each one. Go ahead and move the ink. They get the outside set up. Incoming smoke! I think he's gonna be right on there. Human spotted! Well, I see one going to the left there. Yeah, one's in the right anyway. Yeah, that's right. There's someone inside. Oh, uh, watch your crossfire, Milky! Oh, it's not me. Oh. Yes, a fuck them was. Yeah, I forgot to die in the tunnel. Yeah. Oh, my. My name went off on the side. Oh, no, I drive! There's a guy still in the ring. What the hell? I'm gonna to stay together and push at the same time. Good, Milky, you're the only one alive. I'll make that up. 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 Stay the shovel. Oh my god. Yeah, welcome to Let's go set up for the next thing. Why did you? Go all the way around to it. They're, they're setting up for it. There's one controller. There's two coming for you. Down, oh, well, I'm just fucked. I have an ace, I have an ace. Throw it in the fucking ring then. Oh, 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 oh. I'm having worse lag. Yeah, I do Oh, I'm going to Oh. 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 Whoa, there's a guy down here. There's a guy yeah, down here. I don't hate him. Back. Oh, shovel, go out to back. Yeah. Shovel, run back to the back. Don't, don't open that. Do not open that. Do not. Oh, fuck. 
not friends yet. Well, what the Thanks. fuck was that? Jedi behind win. you. Thanks. Go off. They're gonna win. Yeah, now they're gonna win. Shovelhead, you never pull that fucking sword back, man. Yeah. He said grab so bad. Silverback, available. Ah! Fuck sake! Did that fuckwit just teabag me, or was he looking for ammo? They went off this hill. I'm gonna have to get one up from there before I really fuck around. I think I'm not dead yet. Yeah, you did tag him. Nah, you tagged him. Alright, I'm just going. I'm sorry, man. I didn't tag him. You are tagged him. That went out quicker than I thought. Yes, they call me, in the words of Legacy, they call me Clairvoyant Bear. I'm the same. They also call you the bear who ends games. Ah, uh, yep, yeah, okay. They do. Fair enough. I understand that. Um, <laughs> Yeah, very, very convincing and strong win there by Paranoia. Yeah, definitely uh, not what I expect that out of um, Downpour. Yes, they will get pretty excited. I was just, I'm in a party with the uh, legendary Legacy members Dave and Virix. He wanted a shout out as well, so a shout out to my the pride of Tasmania, Jordan Rogerson. He loves it. Pride of Tasmania. Um, the soul yeah, of Tasmania. Commentating on the um. No, they were just they're, they're watching the stream closely, and they were rather impressed by the setups there. So it's a very promising little thing there for those guys in Paranoia. Obviously, got their shit together and did it right. Move back on to execution now, and um, this is where it gets interesting. If uh, Paranoia can indeed win this next map, which is Mikester Execution Drydock. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. I know, but yeah, and then we have Execution Hotel. Ah, uh, that's a little bit better. But yeah, if they if they can in fact roll on and win this next map, then you know they go three one up. Uh, it's a pretty good lead right there, and uh, it, it really will throw it in their favour. I mean, they they are uh, they just that dominance right there, and I'm sure people heard on the stream. I, I didn't want to watch it in case it lags, but I think uh, I heard Squeaks was going off a little bit there. So it's good, good for the viewers, good for the viewers. Um, that's not a first. So. <laughs> um, okay, so they're all already it seems spectate and spectate, and they're about to get keen. Maybe a little bit of shit talk. I hope that would be nice. That would be funny because uh, they can still hear game chat while yeah. we're commentating. So it's quite funny. Alrighty, all right. So we're gonna kick this off. Five, four, three, two, one, and. Yes, here is where I guess I mean you can't really say it makes or break, make or break the other team. I mean you saw the other night uh, or the other week, sorry, um, BBR, although undermanned, had a five-two lead. I think I'm five been, nil lead. Five nil. Oh, get raped. <laughs> Just went off their off their head and took six maps straight. And uh, I mean it's a rare rare occurrence. But, yeah, definitely, I mean, as, I guess for an inexperienced team sometimes it, it can be hard to overcome that kind of deficit, so. Yeah, definitely, I'm, I'm going to start off the bat with Deadite, let me find him. <coughs> Swap over, he's going to go to the front spawn for his team, going to be pushing up into that sniper, he's going to really, really take a full red. Not I won't be surprised if he gets taken down. One locust member has gone down. Um, I think he has gone back up though. Uh, Deadite has that talk bow. Squeaks has the one shot, but I can hear him raging. Game chat, I think he might have got inked. He did. And he didn't die though. I've heard he's a sponge as well. That's the word going on the street. That explains the lagging. Very interesting. Um, 
They actually won both power weapons there. That's a, that's a good push right there yeah. to win both. Yeah, they definitely, they definitely have the they have the map control now as well. And deadline is now taken out. Uh, we have not a very good position for the uh, paranoia boys. They're just yeah. really boxed in that cargo yeah. side. Frag. Frag's going in though. I'm, I'm curious. I mean. I know I've tried going a 2-2 two -two strat before in, in my own games and and sometimes, like sometimes, it's very rare, but sometimes it does work. Um, but, I mean, to get both power weapons off the bat, uh, that's a pretty impressive little move right there. And, and for a team to not pick up on it, maybe it's just inexperience. Looks like they're going to go for a push here. Milky's in a bit of strife and Dead Deadite has the talk bow backing him up, but only maybe two or three shots left. <sighs> Losing my breath. Uh, so we have Squeeze going around Tiki with Shovelhead. Oh. Uh, Bev and Shovelhead are going to trade. At least he managed to take someone out with him. Uh, we have Hayden and Freeze now just sitting at the bottom of... And now they're going to be pushing up the ramp, but they're, they're really boxed between that Lancer. Um, and Hayden's going to go down. Freeze is full red as well. He's probably going to go down as well. Yeah, it's uh, and the first round's just going to go to... Downpour. I keep yeah. forgetting their team names. Yeah, I know, this is actually quite confusing. Uh, we need one of those stat guys, like from the footy. Yeah. Alright, this time we'll push um, um, Two nades, two mortar. Alright, so. I think they're going to be doing two nades, two mortar, um, the team that I'm spectating on, which is downpour, because that's what they're saying. They could be doing that, I'm not too sure. So if they're true to their word, or if they just don't follow. It uh, looks like they. Uh, Oh, they have. Shovelhead's there, but he's getting pegged and he's going to go down. No question. And he didn't. That's impressive, but Deadline's right on him and he's going to knock him out. He will be able to just jump off, take the kill quickly. He does. He picks up the meat shield for safety, picks up and gets up and gets those nades. They've got the ascendancy straight away. Bev has the sniper side covered. Freeze. Um, in, a, in a typical thing these days, they haven't picked up the snipe, and that's not really a... a an uncommon occurrence anymore. I know a lot of teams just don't opt for the snipe. You can't use it, don't pick it up. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's a showy weapon and it's obviously effective in the hands of the right person, but the right person is very, very scarce. So, yeah, it is sometimes just the, the percentage play to just maintain your, like, uh, map control and just control your lances. And, you know, Lancer is the best weapon in the game. Unfortunately, I don't like it that much, but it, it's the truth and you can't do much about it so yeah well with that uh, power the clip and just the stopping power why wouldn't you use it yeah. metapod ask is ubi the right person insightful bear he is i am very insightful you should not um i'm gonna have a member of the cog team just gonna be pushing up i think that squeaks he's i don't know what the hell he just did then no, uh, he's just squeaking his way through like a chipmunk. He does not mind it, he old squeaks. But now they're in just strife. I mean, it, it's simple as this. They're not ever going to get out. They're going to launch a fucking mortar. I take out Aiden, but he's not that stupid, I don't think. Ooh, well, I think they'll... took out two members. That was quite funny. Ah, I just shot the mortar. Um, I don't think he meant to shoot the mortar there because he just started oh. swearing that he shot the mortar. Okay, so he's... These like, things are quite funny, I've got to well, say. Get an ink. They might get the other ink if they really want to be careful about it, and they will go and get the nades most likely, which should be up in about half a minute. So uh, they've thrown an ink, but they're not going to push through that ink, surely. Oh no. Oh, what the. Squeeze going to take out Bev. Then I'm going to get inked. <laughs> He's going to get taken down as well. Whatever <laughs> Squeak just did, Milky's going to have a go up Hayden, but Hayden's just Pushing Hayden, Hayden's for it. No, Milky's going to get taken down as well. Where did Squeak's go? He's going to go all the way back to Inca. They pick up wow. Inca, okay. just chilling. He's a ninja. Alright, so he's got... Oh. He's going to stun one man. He's going to take out Chronic. But he's going to get taken out. Oh, this He's going to yell and scream about that. Why? Is he serious? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, he just charged through two inks and like one shot, like just barrel stuff two guys, and he's gonna whinge about it. Okay. Like, fair enough. It's alright, we're not playing quick match, mate. Calm down. Alright, so, um, I mean, they, well, I guess. Uh, 
They weren't really lucky, I mean, they did take that much pretty easy. I mean, they took yeah, out Paranoia are going to be sending a three-man slump, and this time pulling it off. Milky's going to get taken now straight off the bat. Squeak's going to push up, pick up that one-shot. Deadline's got the talk, but Squeak's going to take out Bev with that uh, one-shot there. It's a three-on-three -three situation. Well played by Paranoia to actually take that um, talk, bow control. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, cargo spawn. Deadline. I mean, he was treated. You see, you see here on the screen. If you, oh, I was back to deadline. He's changed uh, his shotgun for the uh, talk bow, and that, that's that's also another common occurrence because people just don't want to get rid of the lancer. You can just spray it like a fucking hack, and still get kills. That's I true, but I still always swap my lancer. Um, yeah, that it's just have it for me now. Always do it. It's a reflex action. Five years of it anyway. But I mean, yeah, I, I think. I, I like the way people think like that as well. That's just thinking about the team. That's just thinking about knowing that if you have that talk bow and you want to be a show pony, that hopefully when the going gets tough and your teammates are oh, squeaks taking out another, and he, someone that's lagging, he really is. Yeah. Oh, that was, that was awesome by deadline. Well done. And he might take out Deadite here. Oh, he's just going to back off well with his Lancer. He did really well right there. Dodged the ink and got the talk about kill at the same time. Beautiful, beautiful little play there. Um, uh, back on topic of what I was speaking about before, that sniper talk bow. I know I'm sure I need to rev up Westy a little bit. He doesn't want a bit of a pat on the back every now and then. But I would say, yes, Ubi would be the guy I was talking about. Midnight also, I've played with him a lot. Chopper coming onto the, fr onto the fray lately. I think he's... Exceptional with that weapon. Mm. Uh, even in the words of uh, Virix, he did enjoy. They they do pay him a lot of respect. So, um, Thunderjack's also another player I find to be yeah, good with that. Is it even? I've got headshots and I'm a hack with the sniper, so it's all good. <laughs> um, but yeah, oh, Hayden's in a bit of strife. He almost went down. And, could be in a bit of trouble because he got downed and Deadline. Oh, he's going to get picked up here, I think. He has an Oh no, Deadline. Oh, what if Dead are going to be pushing up. Hayden kills himself. I'm not too sure. I think and this is where taken down earlier. We have Dead are going to be chasing. Oh, he's going to be taking a full oh, yeah. round. Oh. Oh. Right. So we got Squeaks here. Squeaks is showing his recklessness. Yes, well, we also started yelling too, so. Hold on, Deadline, he's got him here, he's going to down him, and he's going to somehow get... Oh. Yeah, he's going to be taken down. Okay, I was actually expecting Deadline to get the beat shield and actually survive that. Uh, if Squeaks was actually lagging, but... Apparently not. For someone that's lagging, six kills, three downs, and one death. Yeah, he Just, just going to say. I'd like, I'd like to play about lead. Alright, so here we go, and you can see him teleporting a touch. Oh, well, I can. Uh, I can't. <laughs> just like doing a bit. Oh, he's got in a nice little position there, and he's gonna down freeze right there, and he might even down Bev, but he got stunned and full red from that. So in a little bit of strife. Uh, the map going slow as expected. And generally, when things are on the line, this is how it plays out, and you can't do much about it. But for the most part, what I see is probably just um, paranoia. Are generally gaining control of the map, but are probably just kind of screwing it up for themselves. That would be my opinion. I, I think they, they seem to be in control, but like that last round. Yeah, we have Deadline pushing forward on uh, Shovelhead, taking him down. He's going to be able to pick up those nades now. Uh, we have Hayden there as well, just to ink him, just to be safe so they don't get down, uh, bringing the advantage to their team. Uh, and uh, no. we have the pushing over to that water side, whereas there are two members of the cog team actually there. Another member of the cog team is on that ramp side at the sniper, at the red crate side. So. Uh, but Squeak's just doing damage again, but getting taken out in the process by Freeze. Not normally a, a very good play. I mean, you take out one person and die. I mean, it's, it's just it's unnecessary if if you know that the risk is there of you dying, especially on like Freeze, who I know is prominent with the Lancer, and he will 
generally back the guy up that's going to be getting taken out. So looks like we're in the same similar kind of position. Deadite's just holding himself firm on the other side of the stairs, and Hayden moving up. Milky is stuck there, and uh, Deadite has the opportunity if um, paranoia aren't aware of it. They're going to be. In, uh, he's going to throw those nades, and he should take out Milky here. He will. Oh, he's about to get out. They seem to be wanting to hold up, but here's where the damage ink. Oh, Deadline just now, he avoids that ink. He's going to take out Milky, and Deadite's going to be taken down as well. He's going to get cleaned off. Bringing the advantage back to two paranoia. Well, back to even, really. It's 2 2. These teams just want to be going one round at a time. I have a feeling this is going to be a long game, Bear. Um, no, I mean, you, you're talking to the map like, uh... Um, yeah, you're talking about like a map like Rydock. I mean, it's always going to be a bit long-winded if teams have got a lot on the line. You know, they're always going to take their time trying to do it. Uh... I'm down, I'm down, oh, I'm just down, down to me. Uh, Bev taking out Milky and already got the ascendancy route. Squeaks and uh, Deadite, I think, are uh, just cruising down the bottom of the fork and they're about to get pushed. Perhaps. Yep, and this is fuck. This is the idiot because uh, he's just pushed down and he wasn't aware but Squeaks was really sloppy with that pistol. He's got his shotgun out. It's glowing black. I think he's got 6,000 kills with the shotgun. And he's quite content to just sit there with his civilian army Anya costume. And a nice talk bow from Deadlight taking out Deadite. Um, not too sure what to say here, just Paradoy has that player advantage. Still have all four players alive. They're just staying back at that water side. Shovelhead's gonna get taken down, he's gonna get picked off. Squeak's the last one alive for his team. And it looks like it's going to be all over here, Freeze, Squeak, Squeaks, just... It's going to take out Bev and just... Uh, I, don't, I don't get how he yells at that. I, I, I really don't. He takes out Bev, gets killed, and he screams out, wow. Did he yell at that, dude? Yeah. What the... I, I, don't, I don't know how you could possibly lag at that. That didn't look laggy to me. That's just... I don't know, you're running at two guys and your age. Oh, okay, fair enough. There we have two members going down. And um, yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're, they're just playing the percentage play and they've taken a two, four on two ascendancy here and it looks like Dale at times for the guys of downpour, it looks like they might be able to, uh, they might end up losing this map. And go down 2 1. No, 3 1, sorry. And that's exactly what I was sp speaking about, so. Sorry, I, I gotta say, if you were talking to me, I was not listening one bit. I was too busy abusing myself listening to squeaks. Yeah. I, don't, I wish I could, I could watch, but I can't. It's unfortunate. I'll have to rewatch the, uh, the thing out after the game. Deadline taking out Milky, and now it is Shovelhead, who's having a bit of a. Ordinary game. I'm not too sure who Shovel Head is. Um, AD something something or other. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's Ooh. that was his old game attack. So anyway. Okay, so they take the map four two. Deadline going large. Although Bev did well, and so did Freeze with their 800 points. In the game, respectively. Um, Squeaks banging on about his lag, got eight kills, and the rest of his team really kind of let him down with the one each. So, not a super performance, but Drydock's not a map that a lot of teams can really handle, I suppose. Squeaks sent me a message, so this is going to be cool. Oh, they're getting someone else, apparently. Are they? Yeah. Who's getting someone else? Well, we're uh, going to have to get in contact. Fucking downpour. Um, oh yes, a pre-warning for anyone that is a church goer or under the age of 18 and hasn't been exposed to, to foul language yet. I generally let it slip on a fair amount of occasions, so please 
excuse me in advance because I am an angel. <laughs> I apologize. Oh. No, we're not done yet. This is currently a 3 1 lead to Paranoia. Pretty sure. We are waiting for Showery V, I think he is called. Yeah, that again. guy to join back in so we can continue. It is a best of 11, so we need to wait until a team gets six maps on the board. So we'll be here for a couple more maps. Fortunately, they are at 3 1, so could be over within a half an hour if. Uh, if uh, Paranoia continue on their winning ways, they did have a, a bit of a slip on Thrash Ball, but otherwise that they have been the dominant team here. To don't. They really haven't let them get into any of the maps, really. I mean, they, they won the first map 4-2 on uh, Clock Tower. That was fairly convincing. They did win the Rustlon King 2-10 to 45. That was a massive win, and well done to them. And they really had all the control there, apart from a few slips and slides. Uh, by on their own account. Um, I'm going to take this opportunity to turn my status on busy so I don't get all those notifications. No wrong option. Alrighty. Shout out to Exhibits and Paranoia Org Manager. Smiley face. Go, boys. Okay. Righto. Such boys. Can I reset the lobby? Sherry cannot connect. Okay, whatever. All right. Alrighty, so we'll be resetting the lobby. <sighs> God damn it. That means I've got to go back into my messages, which I've been trying to avoid. I'll tell you what, I get a lot of shit for being as old as I am, but my God, the incompetence of teenagers these days is absolutely phenomenal. I'm not going to lie. Yep. And I'm a teenager too. <laughs> hey, you don't look like one. Ooh. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, Bear. Not a teenager. Clutch? No, Clutch is 20. I'm not kidding. <laughs> oh, Clutch is watching a stream. He can answer you on that one. Uh, he looks older. Um, have you sent an invite? Uh, I'll send you one. I don't know about them. Diddy informs me that Clutch is youngest person in CGI. Ooh, I don't know about that. Forgot about Squeaks. Uh, Squeaks. He's, he got to be in CGI first, bro. Oh, uh, like, I thought, oh, last season. So, last yeah. season. This season hasn't started yet, remember? So. Um, yes. Uh, Quincy, like... All right, so, I mean, just while we were waiting, and because this is probably not the most exciting match you've ever seen, nor the most exciting commentary. I think the commentary is one of the best ever. Yeah, maybe. I mean, I did not get voted for in the Personal Choice Awards. So Neither did I. Don't, I, don't. Any, uh, I know, Mike, that you got robbed of your uh, best moderator by the uh, lovely Westie, so you must have... And been... most intelligent forum poster by Midnight. Well, I don't. I don't think you were in the running for that, but I actually voted for you for the best mod. So, oh uh, yes, you're like the only person to. to uh, just informs us that you got votes, but you did not put them in there. So, oh, so thanks yeah. a lot, Metapod. Maybe if you didn't bury. Actually, I mean, I don't normally. <laughs> I don't normally laugh at uh, Quam's memes. But I think he did one about you, where it was like... Uh, was it the reason? likes that Barry's threads, like Barry's posts, is 0 0.000001 of a second? Is that one? <laughs> uh, I remember that one. That one was funny. Just a lovely, lovely bit of art right there. You might want to invite these fellows, or I, I will. Um, I didn't. <clears throat> do that, so... Should probably do that. Um... Yeah, some stories from some stories from the land. I think everyone had the assumption that Clutch was going to be a bit of an arsehole. So I think <laughs> I think people always had a bad impression of him. People didn't like him, I suppose. Like they always thought he was a dog kind of player. You know, he just 
always went a bit like with the rules of the game and and all that. And I mean, you met him at LAN and he was very, very. I uh, played with him at LAN, yeah. So, you know, good old okay. teammate at the time. Yeah, he was just very uh, good sport, you know. He shook hands a lot. Gave uh, you an arm wrestle. He, uh, you know, you know he ran away from you, didn't he? No, that was Westy. Oh, yeah, that was Westy. Westy ran away from everyone. Yeah, knocked on my door. So that, that's a good story right there. I don't think you'll share that with too many people, but Quincy informed me of that. Thanks, Quincy. Shout out. <laughs> um, no, Sydney was it was good fun. There was a lot of interesting things in the hotel going on. Uh, Trav, Snipe, and Donuts. So for all the warnings that I'll ever give you, is if you ever meet Trav at land, do not. Put Krispy Kreme donuts in his vicinity. It's just not good. Alrighty, so all the players are in the lobby now. Let's get this started. Execution private. Execution oh. hotel. Also, um, oh yeah, Quincy, number one scab. <laughs> also, <laughs> stole like half a packet of cigarettes. Also, public service announcement: don't smoke. Just saying. I went the hard way. Yeah, it it kills. Oh, we're about to kick this off. Potential to go four one up or to bring it back to a three two. This is really a. You don't want to do a BBR and uh, lose six straight maps. So. It's just a. Uh, I mean, this for me is probably the deciding map. I mean, if they can go four one up, they're really in a, in a huge like you know. A, Huge position to to take this out and and go straight through to CGI. Yeah, well, even with the four one lead, you still need to win another two maps. Um, oh, was I meant to do that? No, oh, you weren't meant to do that. Oh shit. GG, bear. GG. God damn it! Too late. You're you're on a roll. You're on a roll. Right. I gotta got to turn on the fan. <laughs> it's getting a bit hot in here. It's the second day of spring. And when it gets above 15 degrees in Melbourne, it's pretty hot. No, it's <laughs> All right, milky. All right, we'll back out here. I screwed that up. <clears throat> oh, you're here in that fan, aren't you? Good damn it. Uh, no, I'm not, actually. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, hopefully not. God damn it. <sighs> Maybe I'm hearing it. I don't know, like, it's very faint. It's not... Oh, I'll move it anyway. Screw that. I only just started hearing it then, so... It's all G. But yeah, let's uh, not start it straight away this time. Yeah, I can't even tell. Like, all the game tags, I don't even know. Well, just, the just sit there for, like, a minute until I tell you to then. <laughs> don't even know who's on whose team. You've been coming for the last, like, three, four maps. <laughs> Okay, Ronald McDonald, good uh, good comment right there. Um, shout out for that. Or John, as they call him. As they call him. He's a fair character, John. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know him too well, but he's always fairly amusing when he's in the party. So, yes, good fellow. I know they scared the shit out of Trav when Trav went to stay at Dave's. So that's a good good little story right there for you. I want to hear more about this story. Uh, what happened? Alrighty, so teams are actually right this time. Um, what happened? I think Trav, he, he's too poor to afford a hotel. That's, that's the start of the story. Does everyone remember that? So he went to stay with Dave uh, on the Central Coast and they went for a bit of a joyride and Trav got a little scared because they were speeding. So, good story. And I think John was involved, Dave was involved, and another fellow. They were egging cars, maybe. Alright. And also, John almost broke Quincy's Xbox by recklessly shutting a door. So, there you go. And Quincy, no, I cannot. Alright, so we're going to kick this off. We might actually, for once, talk about the game. And try and keep interest in it. And it's yeah, right now. We'll, we'll tell the glass scaler story later. We've got plenty uh, of time. Well, he means well. He means well. Alrighty, so we got two COG members going for the talk bow. One's going for the flank straight away on the Locust team. 
And we have Deadline going through the lobby, taking down one of the uh, COG members, but Milky's there to back him up. They're not going to get back up. Milky's going to get taken down as well from Deadline. He's going to pick up the nice double. Squeaks gets that talk, bro. And uh, we have a 4v2 situation here. 4v3 situation here. Squeaks gets a nice talk, bro, kill on Deadline. But Paranora still have the numbers advantage here. We have two members just sitting down the bottom at that talk bow, the bottom of those stairs there with the COG team sitting on the other side. Really, I think they're going to try and make a little push here or just try at least to bait those talk bows. No, he's down to two and he's just going to go for a bit of shotgun, but Freeze is going to... Oh, he's Squeaks down. Down. Squeaks is just a menace. And Squeaks is just going to talk about him. Stupid, but... Uh, and they've done well here. I mean, Squeaks again leading the way. I mean, he might be young, but he's definitely got some leadership qualities about him because he's taking out members and bringing back the ascendancy to his own team. And they're going to push out, and he's taking out another one. And it's all on Squeaks here. He's pretty much going to win the map on his own. Right here. I think they're having a bit. Of, sorry about that. I think they're having a bit of a little uh, team argument there in the game chat. Uh, yeah, man, he just uh, doesn't come on half the other team this time. No squeaks this man. That was that was just silly. I mean, Deadline done a really good piece of work right there to take out the two guys straight away. They were boxed up on Dingo, and they basically went single file at him. And yeah, squeaks getting the nice f four kills right there. Uh, but it is boom round now, so we could uh, see. We've got squeaks going into that boom shot. We have two players of each team just basically. Mirroring each other, one inside, two balcony, and one watching the boom shot. Alrighty, let's see how they do this. Deadline controlling inside, just moving around. Got to be careful that uh, whoever this is Milky just doesn't take off. I think Deadline's going to go have a crack at him. He got shot the first time, didn't get too red. He's just backing around, and now they've come in to come and get him. That's and Deadline's going to retreat as quickly as he can. He's going to go yeah. around. No one's picked up that boom shot yet, actually. I think uh, Paranoia is actually going to make a play for it soon. They are setting up their members more in that direction. They did get pushed out, but Deadline's going to be chucking nades into Bev. I think that is. He's going to pick him up. And Squeaks is going to manage to pick up that boom shot. Deadline's going to go down. Yep, he's going to go down. He's going to get taken out. And I have no idea what that boom was doing. That. <laughs> what he is he doing? Dude. He doesn't get this kill. There we he, go. Thank you. He got a kill at least. No. But he's going to get taken out by Hayden. Um, but Hayden will be the last one alive. Taking a full red. Not really much he can do in that sort of situation. Getting crossed from all angles. The injection of Shuri or Shuri or whatever they call him has definitely helped their team along, although he hasn't got a kill yet. Answer that, aren't you down, bro? But they have moved 2 0 up, and they, this is a good chance for them to come and bring the ledger back to 3 2 in Paranoia's favour. So, come on, boys, don't just start um, going. Start calling out and here we go, they're about to push in. Freeze going to go in the front door. Bev holding the host. We have the Hulk team sending 3 to talk by this time, and playing a bit more talk heavy. But the player that is at lobby is going to get crossed by two members. See how this plays out. Milky's going to take out Bev. And Milky's going to move around behind them and he's going to take him out, but Freeze is about to move behind him and Deadline's going to get him and I think they're going to down him. There's all three of them here. They've got him down. His teammates, Deadite's there, but he's going to chuck in. He's going to get the double. He just, that was really well done by Freeze right there. They just did not see that coming. No reaction time, just standing there. And now we are in the same position as last round, except they have one less person. So let's see if they don't go single file, although Freeze has decided to try and test it. Oh my god! And uh, go in there, but uh, Squeaks has taken out another one with the thing on share. He's holding himself on the right side. Right, He's going to push out and try and take out Freeze, but Freeze has backed okay, off down. quickly. Down. Squeaks. Squeaks killing himself. Right. And <laughs> Hayden just picking Nothing. off that last kill. <laughs> I'm not too sure how he killed himself there. Um, did you manage to catch that? Well, after watching him last round with the boom, I can pretty much just. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit, he's a bit reckless, old Squeaks. He runs through inks for fun, but good on him. He tries. He's doing well for his team right here. He's leading the way again, and he's going to hold the boom. He's going to push up heavily, and better than that, Hayden's going to watch. He's going to get down and taken out because he has absolutely no backup. 
Oh, Deadline's actually, Deadite's right there, helping him. So he's going to get away, maybe, and get that boom. He does, and he... Oh. And Pev gets a nice double. Milky takes out Deadline. <laughs> he was actually... <laughs> he was aiming at the Ute. Please. Jerry, pick up the mid shield. What are you doing? Milky. We have Bev with that. Whoa. How did he not die there? Hilariously, and uh, Bev not killing himself, but okay. Right, um, Squeaks, uh, he's going down, he's actually, up he's up to when he got he's picked up, up right or when he got up, Don't shoot it, please. and uh, he takes a long shot, and Bev just didn't pick it up enough. Uh, when he he got up straight away, he aimed at the car, and I reckon he was going to shoot it and blow off him and his teammate. <laughs> so <laughs> that would have been a beautiful sight. Squeaks just doing the damage. Unfortunately, he doesn't hurt his own score by team killing. But Milky oh, with the sniper, uh, he's, he's in a yet. pretty he's bad position. They can just move around on either side of him. He throws a smoke, he's going to push down Hayden, but Hayden will play it safe. That's how he does. Yeah, well, they've got the calls there on the team. Oh, I watched uh, Hayden play a few one on ones in that uh, Mercy Monday, and he plays those safe, so definitely know he's going to do this one. He was going to back off and bait him into his teammate. Just one fire answer as yeah, normal. It's a nice shot on on. I reckon if he got that second shot off, he would have been able to down. Um, down him. It's a uh, it's a hard thing to counteract. I mean, only the best players, in my opinion, can actually stop it. But I mean, when you have someone just backpedaling using a hit fire answer, it's just you got to just be so composed. You know, I mean. Yeah, you just really got to just take your time and hit those shots perfectly. I mean, obviously try not to get yourself in that position, but sometimes you can't avoid it. So Squeaks is in a terrible position here, but he might hold his own. He's been doing well for the whole game. Dead Deadline takes out Milky. Hayden takes yeah, out... Yeah, Bev gets taken down as well. He's going to get down. Squeaks is going to go for the meat shield, but Bev's going to get up in time. And I bet he'd be raging at that one. And they are slowly letting it slip away. Out of two O lead, it's gone back to three two. And um, here we go. They took them all out there without losing any players right there. And right about now, we go into the boom side transition. Is it? Yes, it is. And uh, Paranoia have decided to send two inside. Uh, that's been a typical strat for Legacy for a few weeks now, I suppose, and they've done it really well. Sherry's uh, coming. The shot. Hayden taking out Shuri. We have Deadeye getting taken out as well. He had the nades, so um, we won't be seeing any nades being chucked into the boom. But we have Squeaks going pushing straight away on Bev, but unfortunately, he's, if Bev takes him out as well. I'm, not, I'm guessing you can hear me that game chat. <laughs> oh, but, uh, yeah, that that brings the lead to four, four one. End the game, Bear. Yes, yeah, we'll do that. Sorry, I was a bit lost in that one. I was I was trying to get over the burning burning word insults that climb shoot my way on a regular basis it's actually quite difficult to get over I um tried to go to sleep like last night thinking about it and I couldn't I and mean, he's he's caused insomnia so, so it's a pretty sad time in my life right now insomnia yes it's pretty bad it's uh, pretty bad are we um king of the hill yep uh, what king of the hill are we at actually I don't even know uh, I think we'll go listening. Trenches. Yeah, we'll go for another listening. King of the Hill time. We'll do listening. On uh, Paranoia's side this time. We'll give them a run. Yep, we'll give them a run. Well, if they win this, it'll be 5 1, so we might. Yeah, we'll just go full map. Yeah, Should we'll go the full map again. Why not? What is this one? Trenches, you said? Yep. I think. Yeah, trenches. I'll be back in about a minute. I'll need to take a piss. Alrighty, so left trigger to trenches. Yep. Oh 
Uh, right, trenches. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we'll go. Take like issues. Yeah. <laughs> so, so you'll go whatever. Yeah, they're all set up. It's all right. Oh, I've got to uh, one of them's Whatever. not there at the moment, I don't think. Okay. Not too sure which teams these guys are going. So. Thanks. Yep, all well, these guys will be going locust, so I'll just stick right here. Squeaks, go up, bro. Squeaks. <laughs> Alright, we're good to go, yes? Yeah, we should be good to go now. Muting Mike. See you on the other side. This should be interesting. Yeah, this, this should be interesting. <laughs> oh my god, they're starting that shit up again. You've got window, Bev, you've got digger, freeze, yeah. you know what you got. I don't yeah. know what you got, but you can fucking talk if you want. Okay. No. Are we all doing no, usual? Yeah, yeah, the usual. Yeah. Yeah. Right here, oh, Bev go window. Like, no, no, I said Bev go digger, yeah. I said you go window. Get your hearing okay. checked, kid. Pushing <laughs> straight away. Pushing straight away. Attack fucking red as fuck. Like, red as a mama's bitch. I'm out, there's three pushing hill bro. Yeah. I set out at the start, but alright. Um Keep lancing guys, good work. Alright. Two down, two down. Yeah. Go in now. They have like a 15 second reach. Call you, Chronic, call you. I saw that, saw that. So weak on tag, weak on tag. Good ink, now break. Good ink, good ink. Alright, Revan Squeaks, we can win. has got to clear, there's going to be another two pushing, you ready? Squeak flank that bro, flank it. Chronic, to your right. Yeah, I'm flanking. To your right. Behind you. Behind you, deadline, behind you, deadline. Okay, thank you. Down, down. Set up, boys. Right, here we go, we got one of Barb. Yeah, I'm on that Barb. There's one on me, one on me. I'm getting smoked, they're gonna push, you ready? Here they come. Two guys. Yeah. Wow, bro. I'm pushing hell. Full red on block. <laughs> I'll go to Digger. I'll go to Digger. But, Bev, go to Barb or something. Cross it, cross it. Cross that hill. No, wait, no more. Oh, Alright, I'm at Dig. It is... It's gonna be... It's a Digger. Yeah, it's Digger, it's Digger, it's Digger. 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 I got one with me, guys. Oh, quick. Yeah, yeah, Bev, go round. That one come through. Quickly, okay. quickly, they're gonna push soon. Yeah, it's still good. Oh, they didn't push. Right, right. 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 right side, right side. Right side ink, he's got ink. Whoa! Alright, quick cap. Yeah, I'll get it, don't worry. Each corner guys go going back corner. Corner, back corner, corner. corner. Yeah, that's it. I've got my Right side. I'll side in. On my side, my side. Yeah, let me move out. Let me move out. Let me move out. Let me move out. Watch out, watch out. Three, three, three. Aiden, I'm good. Get him both. Cap, cap, cap. I've got two downs with my Lancer then. I need that. I need Lancer. Cap, yeah, grab corners. What the hell? They all have their Nashes out, man. Fuck. Just their kind of style, bro. Alright, my side again. Mother of the same here. Target my mark! Time it, time that, time that down, time that down. Fight, spot all, spot all! Work. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, you tap it and get out, I reckon. Nah, nah, a little longer. Yeah, one more second and get out. It's gonna be, uh, wrap up. Wrap up. Oh, Come on, Milky, bro! I'm on left, bro. Oh. I'm lagging. Two on me, two on me, two on me. That's 
tripod from Digger. Alright, watch out, two pushing Chronic made it beautiful. I'll pimp him out. Alright, I'm oh, spawn near right far. Let's go, Hayden, let's go. Good shit, good shit. Quick cap. Oh. Yeah, pushing hill. Alright, I'll go bottom. Yep, someone got blocked inside. I'll block. push it. Quickly. Oh, bad luck. Quick cap. Up to Bob, up to Bob. My side, spawn. I'm lagging hard out. I'll tell him out. Oh, I'm not king is compared to these guys. I'm lagging though bro, I'm gonna have to keep lagging. I don't care, away. don't fucking complain about it or I'll rage at you for complaining. Oh, shit. Got me unlocked. It's gonna be left think, left think. They're oh. nading hill, nading hill. I'll just sit here and see if it's close. Yeah, left in. No, it's opposite, it's opposite. Don't get on the cliff side, we need the hill, Cap. Yeah, they, they spawn top, they spawn top. Right. Trap them in. They'll have to go through Digger, they'll attack them. Down. Yeah, they're going through Digger, one's down. Cap, let's get out. Oh, 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 Milky, bro. I think it's big one. Oh, what? Down. Down. I made it in there. I'll quick after you. Make it a bit quicker so we can run off the field. Yeah, get digger, digger. One coming. Close, close, close. It's on my meat. I'm up. Behind you, behind you. Oh, you're up. Right. Digger again. Get out. Get out of hill. Get out of hill. I've got bottom. I've got bottom. You can win off this guy. Yeah, pushing from digger. Oh, no. oh, okay. Get me together, boys. Good job. Digger, 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 you can get, get up on Digger, the log Digger, behind Digger. you. Get behind that guy. I get straight. Get the same Of humankind. Bunky, that's okay. Don't call me a message. Don't call me gay. Yeah. I'm sorry, one more scrim. What the fuck? I fucking gave up. Alrighty, so we're away. coming back into that. Bear, if yeah. you could hear me, end the match. Okay. That's 5 1. 17 kills. Yep, next map. 17 lands ahead. Fucking walked yeah, around. Map. Let's, let's do another map. I'll call, call Bloodmark. Yes, I'm back. Alrighty. Went for a little bit of a trip there. Into the stream chat. Yeah, I'm just having a good time here. It's quite fun. Um, so that brings the score up to 5-1. Five, one. Five, I think it's 5-1. Yep, should be 5-1. Yep, 5-1. Yeah, one more. Yeah, one more. Um, so next one <laughs> should be check execution out, checkout. Come on. The best. No shit. No shit. <laughs> Alrighty, so um, execution checkout. Oh, I mean, that's not a joke. It's not really I actually put some of the ripped up the tiles in our house, and we're going to do four boards, but we decided to go with tiles. Oh, we'll have this then. If he's a tiler, then I would be a, I would be honoured.
to be in the presence of bloody qualms to do my time. Did you hear that? He said honoured. Yeah, so I I mean, I would would get down on my knees and and bow to him. Check out. Check out. Freeze, you fucking have no idea, mate. <laughs> no, I said it earlier, I said it fucking in the lobby. Alright, so we have the teams? Um, no, not yet. No, not yet. <laughs> Plus, ones are spectating as well, so. Alrighty, um, that should be fine now. Alrighty, uh, here we go. Alright, so this is the last one. Um, and the last... Uh, the last map, probably. I mean, the way it's been going, like, since that last... Uh, uh, the, since that second map. Yep. Been uh, going more in paranoia's favour. Downpour just seems to be making a lot of mistakes. What? Yeah, sorry. I'm. <laughs> I'm uh, having a good laugh about this, to be honest. This is a good time. Alright, here we go. I'm um, kicking it off on the last map. Possibly the last map. Don't, don't call it too early. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, this is a map that can go either way. I'm not too good at Deadline playing the stage freeze, and generally they're just all gone. Freeze takes out squeaks right there. Uh, we have Deadline taking on Deadeye at the stage area. He's down behind the play. Still contesting his um, black bloke. He's in the edge, he's in Alright, so is stuck there. Freeze is going to land through him in the back. He's going to go push Deadeye now. Deadeye has to. Jump up, I don't even know what he's doing. Jumps up on stage but then pulls out. We have Chronic's gonna go push Shuri on the wide, but he doesn't manage to get on. Deadline's gonna get full red, he gets taken down as well. And as you see there, instantly the map just changed in favor of. Um, yeah, definitely. They, 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 they screwed it up. I mean, the, the two guys on the stage were right there, ready to push on Deadite, who jumped up on the stage and. Freeze put a lot of the thing, but he actually ran around and done. A, um, he tried to push Cherry on the wide and and just got take uh, took down. Pretty stupidly, really. And I mean, they kind of just lost the map for themselves. There, they had all the all the pressure and all the positions and all that. Righty, so I hear a call saying there's two down at that electronics. One's down. Uh, one just got back up. So Squeaks is going to get back up as well, he's going to take him full red already. Not too sure how uh, Paranoia Boys managed to get that one, get both of them down but not capitalize on killing them. But we have Shuri going to push on Bev. Not too sure, no, they don't manage to capitalize on that but Paranoia do have the numbers advantage here. And Shuri gets taken down as well. I pulled away, I told you I was And we have Squeak's gonna be taking on a meat shield here. He's trying to whack the meat shield. Not too sure if that's the smartest thing. Yeah. And he gets taken down. And we have Milky with the sniper, last life for his team. The only one that hasn't died yet. Yeah, the only one who hasn't died yet. Hopefully he can keep that record. I don't think so though. Yeah, he just stands still. Just gives up. <sighs> It's like a human centipede with some can is kind of in front of me, and I was like sucking on his arse. <laughs> 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 Alright, so here we go. Um, do what you do in life, too. I've just been stepping. It looks like I mean, it's 1-1 all, and they've done well here. I mean, considering the pacing of all the maps and the fact that they've lost them all. Yeah, Dead Light takes out Dead Eye. Right, I'm um, up on that stage area. And then Squeaks just runs around as he normally does, and he's going to get taken out here, I think. Dodge an in, dodge a couple of Lancer bullets, but he's going to go... He better go down. Go down. Go down. Thank you. 
Oh goodness! I don't, did you? What? What? Did, what I wonder what he's thinking is there. I mean, he just kept running. Right. I mean, he's going to be a fairly uh, formidable force in the um in judgment if there's no stopping power, isn't he? Yeah. Really. Um. All right. So they've taken a two-one lead, and there's only two rounds to go. If they do manage to pull it off, and they will be through to the CGI League for the next season, and it's uh, it's quite a good achievement for these guys. I'm sure they didn't think they were going to make it in. Actually, you know, the um they had a hard time. I guess in FFYI they came. One goes straight down straight away at um. And Bev doing well. Stage, but Bev manages to clean up and takes his teammate. Sure, he's going for the flank here, but he doesn't manage to get the shot. He's taking out Deadline and Bev sneaking up. Oh, Bev, Bev. The nade going in. And one more round away. I believe in the actual fight for your in bite. Um, downpour actually knock this team out in fight for your invite in losers bracket. So it's interesting to see that with a little bit of a lineup change, I think they're using Bev instead of Made in Oz, uh, the difference in their play. Uh, Dead Eye doing well, take out Deadline there, and he rolls, tried to roll off the stage, but then end up platypus in. As uh, Simon, I think, invented that word. Just go right, wide, go right. Squeaks just running straight past everything, takes out Chronicle, freeze, and uh, Milky's just going to get mantled. But Shuri's going to mantle Bev, and uh, Squeaks is going to be taking on Hayden. Just gets whacked, gets taken down. And I thought not... that they nearly hit the COG member there, whoever was playing as Jace and not the Locust, for a second. Um, a split second of difference would have been all it took. Nade push, boys. Nade push. Alright. Let him go. Yeah. Don't spawn me back at school. I'll go to the electronics. Push straight through with me. No, it's through track. Alright, alright. Oh, oh, oh. It's four here. It's four, got four, four flat. Yeah. I'm backing out the book guys. Incoming! I'm nading that flat. Don't nade it. Uh, save it. Save the last one. Um. I'm sorry. I've been completely distracted. Yeah, me too. Actually, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. But we have four members of the cog team just sitting back at that sniper checkout area. Um, I've had an argument with Quan for a while, so it's been very in quite, it's quite entertaining to watch. It is. I mean, you know, you join a party with the fella and he doesn't talk, so. It's good. <laughs> um, uh, so that, uh, I mean, you just, you know, you got the usual four on four. They've decided to go nades and slow it down. And as you see here, if you go and ghost cam at the checkout, that the four guys are on all four covers and they're not really going anywhere. <laughs> They're all doing turns and stuff, getting excited. <laughs> um, just since I am in uh, game chat in the side of the Parano boys, they're just having a laugh. They, they, I think they all want to jump on stage and just have a bit of a stage party. There you go. Look, he's, gonna, he's trying to bait something out. And he's going to try and... I think he wants to try and get on the stage to get those... Uh, there is no nades up, but there will be. But uh, Deadline, as we speak, he's going back to get those nades, so... Uh, you get it, Hayden, please. They're pretty much just going to wait. And Dead Deadite's pushing up, but he's not going to move too far because Bev and Freeze have done well to cross anyone that jumps up on that stage, so... You're not too sure what they're all doing. Um, they're just waiting for more weapons, I guess. They do have all for a life for each team, so... We've got our Milky pushing up to get that ink. And he does. Uh, they, they look like they might be getting ready to push. Milky throws it, and I think he hit Freeze with that, did he? Nah, Freeze. Freeze. Nah, Freeze managed to get away. So they basically just picked up the ink, threw it, and ran back. So. Um, Deadite picks up another sniper. Hayden's just waiting for those nades, which should be up in about 20 seconds. So once he picks those up, then things will start to go into... Um, Play. They're going to throw those nades in, and really, I mean, where they are now, they're just they're in a real world of hurt. I'm sorry, the stream chat's getting a lot of my attention at the moment. But um, back to the game. We have Hayden with nades, Squeaks with the sniper. I think yeah. there's another sniper as well. Dead Eye does and uh, Squeaks. So Deadline's just waiting there with this thing. He's going to move up to that pillar, I would suggest. Nade's going to go in, one nade wasted, three to go. 
I've got two snipers. Alright. I'll, I'll, boy, I'll nade the middle lane. I'm gonna get on that post, wait up. I'll, Ready? I'll nade this guy here, you smoke it. I mean, I'll smoke this guy here, you nade him, alright? Yeah, go. Oh. That's, uh, I think you used both nades right there. They're throwing a s- Oh, no, someone threw one in there. Didn't get a kill, so this is just a... Uh, uh, hopefully, um... Squeaks might not get, uh... Down here, because he's trying curious to... curious to see how Paranoia actually are going to play this. They're playing a very defensive... I've um, actually only uh, ever seen four on four. And the way you see it when you look at the names come up on the ghost cam, it's just... It's just funny. Yeah. <laughs> Really? They're in symmetrical positions and they've thrown an ink out the front and I think they've and got... And Hayden's going to get yeah. taken down. They knocked him out. Freeze is backing off quickly. What the fuck is and uh, that was interesting what Theo was down there. I, I didn't think they actually had another ink so they did well to sneak that one in there. Deadline's going to wait and, he, and Milky's moving up but he's going to get mauled on the stage by Deadline. And Deadline will actually take him out. sure what Milky was doing. Uh, he does, he does. I did like it's taken a full red, but now Dedo, I thought Dedo was about to go down there. So Bev gets taken down as well. There he goes, but Freeze takes out Dedo. Oh, Shuri takes out one, but he's going to get taken down as well. Two on one, Squeaks man. needs to take out. Oh, why isn't he shooting? And, yep, he takes him out. He takes out the map as well. And the series, and the spot in Fight for Invite. Good game. So um yeah that's that's a six one victory for forgot their team name paranoia. I enjoy your math I remember to end it or not? Looks like you didn't end it. Or not. Everyone, can you see everyone in the stream? They're like down poor quitting thread. <laughs> Squeaks, LFC, did I, LFC. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we have Bear, you know, just just chilling in that chat. Yeah. No biggie. No biggie. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching the stream we of Between Downpour and Paranoia for that final CGI spot. As you saw, Paranoia has taken out the victory in a 6-1 win to get their final spot in CGI as Ruthless did drop out. Um, CGI Season 3 should be starting as soon as possible. So remember to tune in and follow the channel for um, more streams and stuff. Yeah, catch you guys next time. Oh yeah, bye. Thanks for watching.